Uh, hi, I'm Austin Katz. I'm from Sarasota, Florida, and I swim for the University of Texas. And it's taper time. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. We're coming to you just south of San Francisco from the campus of Stanford University. And as you heard, Austin, it is indeed time for Taper Time. Hey there, I'm Caitlin Sandino, along with eight-time Olympic medalist Jason Lezak. We wanted to thank you for joining us for day three of Taper Time, live from the Phillips 66 National Championships. Once again, we got a great day in store for us <laughs> with a lot of fun games. Let's talk a little bit about yesterday, um, clean up your mess day. Um, I don't know about parents at home if you made your kids go home and clean up, but me personally, we went back to the hotel last Cleaned night up. and we made that place big and span. You were inspired span. by yes. Taper Time's game yesterday? I definitely was. <laughs> well, I think today you're going to need to get in on the games. You're just, you just need to get in because today is National Water Balloon Day. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with a bunch of flying water balloons? Jason, you need to get in on that. I don't mind we'll have contestants wet. probably getting wet and we have plenty more lined up as well. On tap for today's show, our game is Aqua Globo, which is Spanish for a water balloon. And we'll have contestants tossing water balloons. I mean, what could go wrong? Probably nothing, right? <laughs> we'll also be joined by Katie Miley and Allison Schmidt, which I'm so thrilled to have time to sit down with these incredible athletes and individuals. And we'll look forward um, to tonight's final action as well. Coming up on Taper Time, we'll be joined by today's first guest, Katie Miley. But first, on the spot, kid reporter Brendan recently caught up with our own Jason Lezak and Colin Jones, and his interview is very revealing. Ooh, but before we get to that, let's head down to our, our, our sidekicks over there, Elizabeth Beisel and Colin Jones. Thank you, Caitlin. You know what? I'm a little bit upset. Elizabeth, you should be. You are winning two to zero. You are crushing me at these games. And I think today, today is my, my, my team on this side, because I switched sides this time. Mm -hmm. Maybe this mm -hmm. time I can win. Colin, like I said yesterday and the day before. Here we go. I did my scouting. All right. And these right. children right here are going to be a lot better. No, and we're I don't gonna think, win. So, think so. Actually, you know what? We're going to split this way. All You're right. going to be on that side. I'll be on this side. Does All that right. Sound sounds good? good. That sounds okay. good because I well, know I'm going to win. Aqua Globo today. Today's game is a water balloon toss. Simple enough, right? All, these kids are going to be jump, throwing the uh, balloons side to side. The team with, that pops the least wins. You guys ready? Come Show on, me give some, me some enthusiasm, enthusiasm. Guys. you guys ready? Let's wake up. All right, let's, go. How about we go with your Come team on. first? We'll go with your team first over there. Who's All on right. your team, Elizabeth? All right, tell me your name, sweetie. Amelia. We've got Amelia over here. And we have... Zoe. Zoe. Amelia, Zoe. Blake. Blake. And... Dylan. Dylan. All right, you guys. All right. I have a good feeling about you all winning. And on the Jones squad, you guys are going to win, right? What's your name? Katie. Katie. Aaron. Aaron. Sky. Sky. Theo. And Theo. Are you guys ready? Make sure you don't drop them. Ready, go. Keep going. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's all right. Keep throwing, keep it's going. Safe. All right, you guys, now take a step back. Step back. Everyone takes a step back. This is getting a little too easy. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Oh, we got our first one. Keep going. Go grab another one. Beisel squad looking absolutely fire right now. I'm so proud of you oh, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Only two, two. Oh, another one. Colin. Yeah. I might be three for three. I after think you today. might be winning, but you know what? We're gonna make this a little bit harder. This is, you know, we've got to give a little bit of um, enthusiasm since it's water balloon day. We're gonna do a little uh, extra water here. How does this thing work? Ah! <laughs> keep throwing, keep throwing. Let's go, keep going. How to work this thing. Mine doesn't have a trigger. Oh no, you squeeze here. Oh shit! <laughs> but mine's locked. Yes, this is how oh, I won. Shit. I sabotaged your gun. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm looking like my team's winning right now. My team's doing pretty well. Oh, you're gonna. I'm you're so sorry. Your you're team. on my team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team Joe's is winning today. <laughs> 
Oh, hey, easy, easy. <laughs> Keep, th keep throwing, keep throwing. We've got another 30 seconds, guys. Come on. Oh, for your team, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Looks like it's I've right. got the no, ringer no, no, team no, no, this no. year. We're going to have to We'll have a re -round. Oh, we're going to do it on the second oh. segment. We'll try it again. Right, right. Yeah. You need to have a little talk, powwow with I'm gonna, your group. I'm going to have a little team yeah, meeting right. with my well, team Well, Team Jones is winning, and we're going to win the second half, too. Back to you, Caitlin. i got to talk to my squad about winning. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with those water balloons, but I think there were some super water balloons out there. A lot of them weren't popping. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Colin was on the bad side of that again. I, but I, did you see the overhand <laughs> technique? I don't know if I would do that with water balloons. It was so. impressive. There was definitely some athleticism out there. There really was. Who said swimmers can't throw water balloons or can't throw? <laughs> Not today. No. So we have a new addition to the Taper Time staff. That is Kid Reporter. Brendan. Brendan got to spend some time with our very own Jason Lezak and Cullen Jones. Let's go catch up with Brendan. Hi, my name is Brendan and I'm at the Phillip 66 National Championships. Today I'm talking with Jason Lezak and Colin Jones. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. I appreciate good. it. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> there you go. Now Jason, who do you think is the best person to take on a road trip? No dogs, Colin. Okay. He's actually a great person to take on a road trip. You don't have to say that just because he's here. Uh, that's part really, partly why I did say that. I would say Jason as well, because Jason and I, we've been on a, a couple of teams. Be honest. Uh, 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 okay, you want me you, to be You honest? both have wives here, guys. Yes, that's true. I was, you know, that was going to be my second person. So, of course. Yeah. Next to Jason, my wife. Next to Jason. How do you feel about that? I feel really good right now. <laughs> my ego is boosted. Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh, definitely Star Wars. I am not into Star Trek good. at all. I was scared for a moment there. Oh, hey. what's up? Star Wars versus Star Trek. Oh. Don't say Star Trek. Don't you, you we'll kick you out. Honest. We'll kick you out. Just say it. Hurry. Star Trek. Oh. No, oh. get out of here. You have to leave. Now right. you have to leave. Uh, yeah, just say it. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. And now we've already asked who's the best person on a road trip. Who is not? And you guys can't see each other. That's not how it works. Ryan, no. <laughs> hey, man. You got this. Oh, thank you. I, I feel like I can swim a world record right now. All right, thanks, guys, for this amazing interview. Uh, I'm Brendan, as you know, and I'll be here all week. I, I just love how Brendan kicks Ryan Lockie <laughs> off set right there. That was amazing. Uh, he's like, it happens. <laughs> he's fantastic. I think he's going to steal my job. <laughs> Getting back to our special guest. I am so thrilled to have Katie Miley with us today. Katie, welcome to Taper Time. Hi, thank you. Happy to be here. It looks like retirement looks very good on you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank uh, you. Yes. I mean, personally, I was a little surprised. Dude, a lot of people that were still yes. swimming that you're close to, did they know this was happening? Did you know this was happening? Yeah, talk us through. Um, that's a great question. Did I know it was happening? Yes and no. I went back and forth every day for like six months straight. Oh, wow. So uh, the people that were closest to me knew for a while before I actually told everyone. But um, I had a lot of great support and it was the right decision at the right time. And I was honestly really overwhelmed with the amount of people that reached out and, um, you know, said really nice things after I announced yeah. it. So it was great. Well, let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit 2015 Nationals in San Antonio, Texas, where you had a phenomenal race. So tell us a little bit about this race here. Uh, do you remember much? This was four um, years ago. This was four years ago, but I do remember. So I'm from Dallas originally, so this was kind of a home state Nationals for me. And uh, my dad was there to see it. Uh, Lily was also in this race. Um, it was when she was still in high school. so. Uh, I remember that, and I remember it being very, very hot. I mean, if you look at the field, it looks like you had a pretty commanding <laughs> victory right there. That's pretty amazing. You must have felt really good about that. Yeah, it was fun. So my question is, that was 2015, and you had that success meddling in the 100 breaststroke in 2016. So does a race like that give you any advantage and mentally be stronger going up into that race in 2016? Um, yeah, absolutely. And it, it kind of reminds me of what's happening now. It was the same summer where there was Worlds and Pan Ams and Nationals. So I had competed at Pan Ams and kind of went straight to Nationals like a lot of the swimmers coming straight from Worlds and coming back here and swimming we're doing and it was one of those things where everyone's in a different place but you just have to stay on your own path and um, it was a good plan for me and set me up really well for the next year. 
So I know we have a little bit in common. I trained myself at the end of my career. You trained yourself, I hear it, at least for a year. Is that right? So tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I, I tell people it, um, pros and cons pro. It was that I got to get up whenever I wanted. I didn't have to like yeah. get in the pool at 6 a.m. I could roll in at 9 or 10. <laughs> um, con was that it's, it takes a little bit of the fun away when you don't have your friends and teammates around you. But um, I look, I had the Georgetown undergrad team and that would they would get in with me occasionally. Um, and the coach was great. He would come in. On his free time and help me out so uh, it was really good. So what's next for Katie Miley? Um, so I have one more year of law school. I'm on Incredible. vacation right now which Enjoy is very it. exciting. Enjoy it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll be getting back to school. I have one more year at Georgetown uh, at the end of August. I'll start and then I'll take the bar exam after that and I'll wow. Hopefully, uh, knock on wood, be a lawyer Incredible. and start working. Yeah, Good for you. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty be... sure you're going to be successful. Basically, <laughs> you had a great swimming career, and Colin was also telling us when you were training and going to school, you were also coaching as well. So mm -hmm. to be able to manage <laughs> all those things, all that? we don't know how you do it, <laughs> but um, it's going to set you up really good for the future. Cool. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very, very impressive. Uh, just a final question. I'm just, I'm curious to know being here does it make you miss it is it very bittersweet or what's the reaction to being at nationals right now it's interesting so I watched all of worlds and I was so excited to watch and I wasn't sad I was like oh this actually feels kind of nice getting Good. to watch it from my bed Sweet but um spot. but yeah being here is it's interesting and I've gotten to see some of my teammates and that's very exciting and yeah. just to give everyone a hug and it's a little bittersweet but I'm sure. mostly sweet well, I bet everybody's thrilled to see you. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by our guys. show. Maybe yeah. you guys need to get down on this water balloon toss. <laughs> I think you guys can be great partners. I mean, I think she's wearing a tank top. I think it's perfect. for a reason. <laughs> CJ, don't you think these two need to join you guys down there? Absolutely. Come on down, Katie. Come on down, Jason. Absolutely. We still have our teams here. Team Jones, Team Beisel. Team Jones is winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have another session. This time, we're going to do a little twist. Each of our contestants are going to turn backwards and throw backwards. So, let's see who wins. You guys ready? No. Elizabeth, are you ready? Is your team ready? Of course I'm ready. We're about to be... Oh, let me get my gun. Ready, go! Where's our balloons? Oh! Would you look at this? Oh, we got, we got, got Katie Miley lady. out here Good and Jason it. Lezak. No, you're on Katie. You're, you're on Elizabeth's team. Yeah, you're on. Oh, and that's no, a no, score. Wait, that's fine. You're gonna go again. <laughs> Soft, Jason. Soft hands. <laughs> um, I think yeah. Team Bizel oh, is looking goodness. pretty good We've right got now. Some, we're throwing some really long. Oh, there oh. we go. Jason's trying to get Katie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> not phased. Katie and Jason, <laughs> absolutely incredible execution. Yes, look at this. I'm these very soft proud hands. of you guys. All right, guys, let's move back. Let's take a step back. Oh. Oh, okay, so we're switching it up behind the back. All right, next round. Behind the back, behind the back. Throw it behind the back. Yep. We're all athletes here. Let's see it. Whoa. Oh, trick shot. Oh, God, this is going to hit me. Katie. Katie Miley. Katie, have you been practicing another sport in your retirement? Right. <laughs> She's already moved on to the yeah, next one. She... Tokyo 2020. Oh. Oh, Jason with the one hand. Nice catch. <laughs> Katie with the one-hander. <laughs> All right. Straight forward. Back to straight forward. Back to straight Back forward. Back to normal throwing. Normal throwing. Oh. <laughs> Katie Miley. In that was out of bounds. In the Aqua Zone, this is why we call it the Aqua Zone. It's not for the swimming, it's for the water balloons. Here it is National go. Water Balloon it Day. It is National and Water Balloon Day. we are fully celebrating yes. this amazing holiday. I'm amazed. Oh! oh! <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not ready. You've got 20 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we got a good one right there. Okay, this is no longer a toss. This is just, let's see if we oh, can hit someone. Right. <laughs> Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Oh, I gotta say, oh. 
day, Team Jones won. I don't even care what she says. Team Jones won. Caitlin, back to you. You guys have all the fun. I was getting nervous. There's broken water balloons right behind my chair, but most impressive catch goes to Katie Miley with the one-handed left hand. At a girl. Nice work, nice work. <laughs> Next up on Taper Time, I am so thrilled to be joined by one of my favorites, Allison Schmidt. But we recently caught up with Lily King for a round of speedy questions. So let's find out a little bit more about Lily. My favorite pizza topping, kind of controversial, but pineapple. I would say I have two really big fears. One is birds and the other one is revolving doors. I think I would just stick to a dog. I'm definitely a dog person. I would have a beagle for sure, but I don't have the yard for that now. My top bucket list item is to be on Jeopardy. I would eat bagels for a week straight because I pretty much already do that. <laughs> I think I would want to be stuck in an elevator with Allison Schmidt because she can turn around any situation and make me laugh all the time. I think if I were to compete in a winter Olympic sport, it'd be skeleton. Because they're super baller. They go down a, you know, they go down a mountain head first on a sled. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I think if I was in a band, I would want to be in Prince's band, but we can't do that anymore, so that's kind of bad. <laughs> As taper time continues, we invite you to come out and join us here in the Toyota Aqua Zone. It's open every day of nationals, and there are booths with merchandise, food, and there's even swimmer autographs. And make sure to stop by and say hello to us here at the Taper Time desk. We didn't even plan that. Like, what are the odds? Lily King said if she was stuck in an elevator with somebody for 12 hours, who would it be? She said you. <laughs> because you turned the atmosphere around, if you can't tell already. Allison Schmidt, welcome to Taper Time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Um, I think your shirt just nails it. More than an athlete. You, my friend, are more than an athlete. Thank you for all that you do for the sport and your your positive attitude and outlook and all the um, promotion that you do for mental health. I just, I wanted to thank you. I appreciate that, yeah. thank you. Yeah, congratulations on an awesome win last night. 200 free national champion right here. How did that feel last night? I think we have some footage, don't we? Yeah, 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 we do. Let's take you back. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your mind right now when the uh, race is coming up. You were powerful, you took it out nice and fast. Yeah, I think you we're gonna... really did take it out. We're gonna we're gonna skip towards the end, I believe, but I think um, here we are. So tell us what's going on right now. At this point, I think I was like, "Where's the wall? Come on, wall!" <laughs> I'm jet lagged. <laughs> um, yeah, but I was I was really ecstatic with that time. Um, I know uh, Worlds was very frustrating with the performance there, so to be able to come here and have a little bit of a faster time and feel a little bit better in the water, it was. Looking, I'm looking forward to this upcoming year. So you are the American record holder. You're the second fastest performer of all time. Um, I know that wasn't your best time, but how does that stack up to how you've been doing recently? I feel like I've been having great practices. So I was hoping for a little bit better, um, a better time. But I mean, to see where we are at this point, I know that talking with Bob, we have a lot of work to do. And I mean, we're ready for it. Allison, you've already competed in three Olympics. You're getting ready for your fourth Olympics. Does it get any less nerve-wracking or is it just as nerve-wracking as your first one? I definitely have a different perspective on it. Amazing. Um, it, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. um, I have, I mean, whatever happens, happens. Olympic trials is always a fun time. Yes. And I'm looking forward to that so much. I feel like it's a big swimming party. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just like everything you've been working for in that four years comes together um, with all your teammates, with all the people who you've been on national teams with. So I'm really looking forward to that swimming party. <laughs> so as you mentioned, being on national teams, having teammates, they vote you as a captain, which means they respect you and they think that you're a leader, which you obviously are. So tell me what's more important, being able to share some experiences and stories with some of them or actually having your best performance, or are they about equal? Definitely um, being able to share experience and uh, being there for your teammates. I know, um, like I said at Worlds, it was not my best performance, but I knew that there's no time to really dwell on my, on my own performance. Um, that can be reevaluated uh, re later. Um, so at that time, it was okay. There's still four more days of this meet. Let's go in that stands, go in those stands, and cheer for my teammates. Um, they have some of those um, teammates hadn't even touch the water yet for the competition. So to just be able to stay upbeat and excited for their, those swims and 
those swims were truly inspiring for me as well. Right. So you come here in Palo Alto, you competed in South Korea, you did the 100 free, an awesome 200 free last night. You're going to step up and do the 400, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll You're be there tomorrow. You're a stud. <laughs> You're such a stud. Now, what's next? Do you take a little vacay or is it straight back to work? Straight back to work. Wow. Um, I think my 18 months after Rio was enough of a <laughs> vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Did, didn't you go somewhere with one of our uh, friends over here, Miss Beisel, for a little yes. bit? Yes. Everywhere. <laughs> yes, we called it the Schmeisel Tour. <laughs> and we Love went to <laughs> Thailand and Australia. It was so much fun. And then we ended in D.C. Actually, I think we started, like, Virginia, West Virginia. That's where we started. A clinic in West Virginia. And then went to Thailand and then Australia, and then we ended in D.C. together. So this next year, are you going to be doing some traveling like that, or are you focused and this is what you're doing, you're going to go for it and give it everything you got? Like this upcoming year or the year this, after? This, this year coming up, <laughs> 2019 to 20. Definitely not traveling, uh, except for some meets. So, okay. yes. um, that when Beisel and I went, we went with our backpacks and <laughs> filled as many clothes as we could. Now I'll have my backpack filled with as many suits as I there can fit in go. there. There you go. There you go. Allison, we could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for swinging by, and good luck in that 400. Thank and you. And we are going to shortly take a look at finals coming up tonight. But before we do, we need to send it back down to our kid reporter, our kid reporter Brendan. What was your favorite movie growing up? Wow, uh, I mean, this puts me back and dates me a little bit. I don't think Colin was born for this one, but uh, E.T. was a pretty sweet movie. Okay, Grandpa, Grandpa, keep it up to date so people know what you're talking about. Uh, mine was actually Return of the Jedi. It was Star Wars. I used to yell at my parents, like, I want to see the one where he fights his father. Yeah. It's the lightsabers, right? Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's fair. You know, was it ever competitive for you, like with Michael and all that stuff, and Colin, of course? So the, the great thing about Team USA is, you know, when you swim on a relay, we race each other all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I swam against Colin, I wanted to beat Colin. Did you? Every time, a lot of times. Oh. <laughs> and the early in my career, he got he got better. He started beating me. But the point the point is, anytime we came together, we wanted to win for each other and together. So that's what made our relay so great. But yeah. uh, you know, having a great friendship and a good rivalry was also able to put it together as a team. Yes. Were you like far beyond him after, at that no, point? No, definitely not. He's Superman. He still has the fastest hundred freestyle of all time, 46 out. Hey, good for you, man. <laughs> um, like Jason said, we we always want to beat each other. We're very competitive. That's why I think we love the sport. Um, and you know, behind when we're walking around, we're always friends. But behind the blocks, veins of ice. We're ready to go. Nice, like a family. Yeah. <laughs> the best practice you've ever had. So practice. You know, the best practice is like when the coach says, "All right, today we're just getting ready for that meet. You do what you want. So you dive in, you swim one lap, and you get out." That's the best. You know what? That, yeah. that, yeah, it is the best. All right. Same um, for you? Actually, my best was actually my worst practice. Oh, wow. Uh, my freshman year in, in college, I had to do 125s long course butterfly. Wow. Right. And you're alive? And yeah, my shoulders are still on. <laughs> um, and I was struggling about 45. The light, they were shutting the lights off. And one of the coaches, Grant Johnson, jumped in, put a Speedo on, and car started swimming fly behind me. And his. Motivation got me through it, so I would say that was my best and worst practice. <laughs> nice. You know, my best one, I'm, I know it's different about you guys, but real quick, practice was canceled, and it was great. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's a good yeah, practice. Yeah, it, it was that, great. That's a favorite. Yeah. That would be a favorite. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys, for this amazing interview. Uh, I'm Brendan, as you know, and I'll be here all week. All right, NorCal trivia. What street is this? Who doesn't know that answer? Lombard. Oh, there you Tra go. Traffic Street. for the win. Traffic Street. <laughs> Traffic Don't Street. forget, we will be here on Taper Time throughout the Nationals, so be sure to join us at 6.30 Eastern every day through Sunday. On tomorrow's show, it's National Watermelon Day, and we'll find out if watermelon makes good bowling balls. We'll be joined by Connor Yeager, Brandon Hansen, and you just never know. It's somebody's birthday coming up. Maybe Ryan Lochte will swing by on his birthday, and there'll be plenty more laughs. We'll guarantee you that for sure. So with that interview, um, Brendan, thank you for that. And if you are <laughs> awesome. a, a youngster out there, you have to go watch the movie. Oh, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, my God. That just happened on set. We love it. It's so hot we here. Want I more. don't even care. Bring it. This is amazing. Is that instant I'm karma? Of the is that so amazing? Okay. <laughs> Schmidt and Katie Myers. Oh my God, Colin, you are soaked. Uh, wait, wait. Instant karma. Look at this, guys. <laughs> He's so. Oh, Jason. <laughs> so. That as, was I was saying, plan. as I was saying, <laughs> if you're a young out there, you have to go watch that movie, E.T. I'm sure 
I'm sure all the old ones have seen Star Wars, as you mentioned. But oh, anyways, God. let's talk a little bit about Caitlin's book. Yes, yes, you guys, I released a book two weeks ago, and I'm so thrilled to say that I will be doing a book signing here um, at Philip 66 National Championships. Look at Jason came by with his cutie patooties, picked up a couple copies, and you'll see, um, you'll read a lot about my involvement with the Jesse Reese Foundation and this book. So if you guys are in the area, I'll be doing a book signing right over here, right after the A and B finals um, tomorrow after the session. So enough about me. <laughs> Let's get to tonight. What are we looking forward to? Well, guys, I, I know that uh, Dana Vollmer is a huge story. Oh. So why don't one of you guys uh, take it away on that? No. You know, it, it's I, we, I was on USA Swimming's uh, story today on Instagram and just to see her reflections on, you know, she was happy just to be able to swim again. And she's just had such a great career. It's it's we'd love to see her at night, but we just want to celebrate her. It's amazing. I don't For know sure. if I could take you serious with water dripping down your sunglasses <laughs> I, I and your face. Right? <laughs> Which so, <laughs> yeah. although Dana will not be swimming tonight, yeah. um, there is a great race that I'm really excited yeah. to watch tonight, Absolutely. and that's uh, Maxime Rooney and the Hunter Butterfly. If you guys want to take a look right now, um, he dropped nearly two seconds from his entered time. So not only is it a fast time, it would have placed second at the World Championships, winning a silver medal. So I think that's definitely something to watch. And Jack Conger's right there behind him, not too far. So it's going to be a real tight race tonight, and I'm excited for that one. Just, How good does it feel to have so much firepower still back at home? You know, we have, we're have we going to have an exciting, exciting trials next year. Most definitely. But we can't forget to give some love to the 400 IM tonight. <laughs> right? It's so oh, my God. <laughs> our, our event, Caitlin. Watch the 400 IM Is it IM too late tonight. for Beisel to suit up? <laughs> oh, oh, I did my time trial. I got my Olympic trials cut. I won't preview it tonight. I'll be there at a trial. The ringer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody will see me coming. All right, so to all of our viewers out there, you can watch all the action beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight on NBCSN. So be sure to tune in, and right after the finals, you're going to want to catch Deck Pass Live with Amy Van Dyken and Jeff Cummings right here on USASwimming.org. Thank you for joining us on Taper Time Day 3. We hope to see you tomorrow. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> On the backside.